Hey everybody, welcome back to the Love Dogs channel. The dogs and I went out for a few days to camp and do a couple of videos for you all. And the first up is a video about the Stowaway 2 hitch mounted cargo box. You may or may not know, I'm a nature photographer and I print, make my own prints. Um, and I take those to art festivals across the region. So I recently bought this Stowaway 2 just to give me a little bit more room to haul my art booth display and all of my art and materials to those festivals. I drive a Subaru Forester, so there's not a whole lot of room back there. Uh, I do have it built out so that it's kind of, uh, I can put a, a bed and my little kitchen cart and everything back there, but also I have it built out so that it's just a flat um, plywood base. I can take all my camping stuff out and that easily will fit my 10 foot by 10 foot art display booth panels. So the back of my car fits my pro panels, which are my booth wall display uh, system pretty well, but I can't really fit my actual art in the car by the time I put all of my display materials back there, the car is pretty full. So I bought this uh, hitch mounted cargo box to put my art in and my art is basically just flat prints. I don't do any framing partially because I don't have the space to haul it but also because I feel like clients prefer to frame custom frame and mat their own uh, stuff to match their decor so all I sell are fine art prints and so I put my fine art prints in boxes. I have several boxes of prints that go with me to these festivals. And the Stowaway 2 hitch mounted cargo box has been really kind of a lifesaver as far as enabling me to haul all of my stuff to um, art festivals. You can purchase these from stowaway2.com. Uh, you can purchase a white one or a black one. There's also uh, two different sizes that you can get what they call a max or you can get the regular, which is slightly smaller. I got the max, which is working perfectly for me to transport my art. And of course, uh, when we go out camping and stuff, then I use this, I utilize it as to put my camp stuff in as well. There's really no good place inside my car to keep this Napier 84,000 SUV tent. It packs very large. With the dogs in the back of the car and my kitchen cart and my other supplies, that Napier 84,000, there really isn't that much room for it. The top cargo box that I have is a Yakima Skybox 12. The Napier 84,000, I've gotten it up there, but it's a tight fit. It's just too tall for the top cargo box. Um, and every once in a while, you know, it, the latches, it would block the latches from coming down and actually latching. So, um, so I now put the Napier 84,000 in this stowaway too, and it works really well for that. The stowaway too is a swing away box. If I need to actually swing it out away from the hatch to load art festival equipment or anything else, I can do that. So this box actually has connections to connect the lights to your uh, wiring harness of your vehicle and have trailer lights. It will give you your brake lights, your turn signals, and your regular tail lights. You'll also notice that it has reflective tape going from the lights all the way around each side. And then also you have the, the ability to lock this. So this turns and then goes down. There's a lock underneath here and it comes with a set of two keys. So to disconnect this, to swing it out away from your, your vehicle, first of all, you've got to loosen this bolt right here that keeps it in place. Once you have that bolt out, then all you're gonna do is pull up on this orange handle and it actually disengages from the frame and allows you to swing it out. Now, one of the other things that has to be done before you can swing it completely out I already had it out because I've been using this already. This pin actually goes down in the elbow of the the frame here and so before you actually can swing it out you have to pull this pin out so now that we have all of those mechanisms disengaged we can actually swing this out and it'll swing all the way out whoops my camera tripod is in the way let's see We'll just go that far for now because i'm going to swing it back in in a second anyway so you have full access to the back of your car 
Um, basically, it comes with the, the cargo box and then the frame is separate. You have to put all these pieces together and put the box on the frame. Um, but it's not that hard. I did it. I had a friend help me put the box on the frame. Um, but other than that, it's really easy to do. This does have a license plate bracket underneath here and there's a light. You do have to install the light and the license plate bracket, but it does come with it. So the stowaway does come with this rod here to hold the lid up when you're using it. There's a hole up here in the lid and then there's a hole down here, a couple of holes that you just push this into. Um, and that holds the lid up so that it doesn't accidentally slam down on you while you're working. It also comes with a plug. There's a hole in the base. I have a blanket a cover down right now, but there's a hole in the base so that you can wash it out and then the water can drain out and you can plug that hole. But let me show you this accessory that I bought. This is a table. And it's just, it's a really thick, I don't know for sure what, what kind of material it is, but uh, it's a really thick, feels like cutting board material. It's kind of a textured top, but easy to wash. And then it comes with these two metal hooks here. And you just slide these in, there are holes on the side here. And you slide these metal hooks into those holes and then you just hang it from this top lip like that. You can slide it, you can put it anywhere you want. And this actually will fit two of these boards if you wanna make the whole thing a table. I only bought one because I wanted to be able to put my bins next to it and access those bins and also access underneath it. So you can see the hooks just hang on the lip up here and then this part actually you can push up and tuck it tuck it into this lip. See how this tucks behind this lip so that this isn't going to move. It's not going to slide out on you or anything like that. Only thing you have to really be careful about is these hooks come out really easily. Um, just like that. So there has to be pressure against these hooks for them to stay. I've also considered just super gluing <laughs> those uh, hooks into these holes. If you tuck this bottom part into the lip right here, it does help keep the metal uh, rod, the metal hooks in. You just have to be really careful about that. What I've noticed on mine is that I, it does slant down a little bit, which is problematic <laughs> um, because things slide forward on it. It seems like the first time I tried this, it didn't slant quite so much. So I do think that I'm parked on a, on a slight hill here, but in general, it does have a slight slant, slant forward. And what I have been doing during this trip is I've been putting uh, one of my plastic bins under here and then just being very careful about making sure the hooks don't fall off. Um, but that way my stove doesn't slide forward on it when I'm using it. So my experience with this has been that it is waterproof, but it is most certainly not dustproof. So that is the gist of the Stowaway 2 cargo box. I was a little bit worried about how much space it takes up in the Napier 84,000, but I actually kind of like it. I don't take it on and off. You can buy wheels to put on one end of it, um, but I did not purchase those. But yeah, this is the Stowaway 2 hitch mounted cargo box. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I hope this was helpful to somebody. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next one.